Okay, so we've already established where the arch is, right? Right over the pinch of the nose, which is right here, and over the iris in an angle, right? That is your arch, made those marks right up there. If you guys have been following me, you've seen some of my other videos, I've shown you guys how to find your arch up in the eyebrow. How do you do the bottom of the eyebrow where you continue with that nice arch? right? I'm going to use the right side as the example. Use a little bit of concealer, anything you have to cover up some of the hairs that have overgrown, but you're not quite sure whether to tweeze it. So after you fill in your eyebrows, then you can decide if it's in around that um, good shaped eyebrow. Think of the bottom arch as like between a 2 to 3 p.m. <laughs> That, I love those visuals, don't you? Okay, so for me, because my face is a little bit whiter, I have more of a flat, I do have a flat eyelid, so I need my brows to be more of a straighter arch. So I'm gonna think of my arch to be more in that 230 area. Your face might be a little bit more narrow. You have that contoured brow bone with a deep, uh, maybe a deep set eye. You don't need to go so much 2.30 or 3 p.m., right? You need a little bit more in between a 1 to 2, maybe. Okay, so again, I'm going to stick with that visual. I like that, don't you? I think some of us typically do is that we start going this way, opening it up up in the front, right? And then you end up with this kind of front circular look. Try to go against doing that at the bottom part of that high uh, corner. That is where you know where your arch is going to be at the bottom of the eyebrow. So just go in a little bit of an angular. For me, I'm going in a little angular, um, kind of little half V. And then I'm gonna go a little bit down, but not too far down. You guys know from my other videos, I don't like my ends to go too far down. It's gonna give the appearance of my eyes are dragging down, a little sad. We don't wanna be a sad eyebrow. We wanna give a, a youthful brow lift, right? I've established this little area right here and that big open gap up in the front, it's really easy, trust me. All you have to do is focus on thinking of a line. Now, if you're Asian, you have a flatter eyelid, maybe a hooded eyelid, right? This is the best technique for you guys. Just go in an angle, but kind of reaching up to that arch that you made. So just kind of go this way. Now, I'm using a powder because I have that concealer. I don't want to disturb that. Now, here you go. Pretty easy, right? And then you're filling that in in the middle, right in that gap. Again, it's the color is going to be so crazy and off, but we're not going to worry about that right now. It's all about that shape. So we're getting that color right in the inside. And it's pretty good, right? Just doing that might help you guys. And that's probably it. You're like, okay, I don't want to mess it up anymore. It's better than what it was before, right? Now, for those of you that want even a higher arch, a fuller arch, you want to go keep. You want to keep going lower. So lower up in the front. So you go lower here, and then keep reaching in an angle. See how the see the direction of my brush. It's an angle. Now, for some of you guys that are that are Asian, you can go in an angle, but maybe more of a straighter angle because you want your brows to be a little bit more straighter because it, it'll balance with the for the rest of your face, okay? So try that out. Let me know if that works for you. Reaching towards the corner right there, and I'm not going to go that far down. I'm just going to go right in that little pocket, soften it a bit, and that is it. I'm serious, you guys, that is all you need to do, except for, of course, clean up the <laughs> the little marks. Now, again, I hope you've established that arch. Practice on the upper part here. Some of you guys have now probably gotten that down. It's the bottom that might be a little complicated. So this is what I want you to focus on. I'm gonna soften up the corner here. Let me know if this worked out for you guys and definitely subscribe. If you're not subscribing, you can't get these fun tips that are so necessary. And I will see you guys right back here. Bye.